Ms. Jalaliza, I find that very interesting, you know, because today, in today's political environment, if Jalalita is ambivalent, Ms. Jalalita is not ambivalent perhaps, if she's equidistant from both these two parties, uh, then that would throw up a whole whirlwind of opportunities for political parties in Delhi. What about the possibility of a third front, Ms. Jalalita? Uh, it featured, it did badly in the 2009 elections. Do you think, given the federal structure of our politics, and the fact that states need a greater voice at the center, that it is realistic or unrealistic to look at the possibility of a third front perhaps in the future. How do you view it? Anything can happen in politics, and particularly in India, anything can happen in Indian politics. So let us wait and see what the future throws up. Would it be unrealistic to think about? I said, let us wait and see what the future throws up. The future may not be too far away either. And why do you say that? It's quite far away as of now. Well, that's what you think. But there could be changes even earlier. As I said, you never know what's going to happen when. Because one can generally sense the feeling of the people. The people of this country want to change. They want a strong government at the center. They want a strong authoritative government at the center. They want a government which will have a no-nonsense approach towards corruption. And they want a government which will provide security against our unfriendly, hostile neighbors. So, anything can happen. 